You wake up covered in sweat. People have tapped your laptop. They're listening in on your phone calls too. You try to type on your laptop, but they're controlling the words you put onto the screen. Your phone camera must be watching you. Is this some kind of reality show? You message people you used to know five, ten years ago. The replies start to trickle in, but you don't trust them. So you ignore the messages. They've all been infiltrated by the enemy. And who, you may ask, are the enemy? The police are after you. Or maybe it's Extinction Rebellion. The important thing is someone is after you. You can sort out the details of who later. You pack a bag of all the worldly possessions that will fit in one suitcase. You dial the emergency services, but think better of it and end the call. You won't get through to the real police. As you leave through the back door, you notice a pack of matches and you realise the box is significant in some way. They're going to burn you alive. You shiver and lock the door behind you. You light a cigarette and briefly wonder if you're meant to press the cherry against the skin on your hand. But you think better of it and start walking. You walk in through the streets and a bus arrives. Seems Seems a bit convenient. convenient. You say to the other passengers and they laugh. You pass a cash machine and withdraw as much money as you can. You hide it in your bra. You might need it later for something. Then you notice that the leaves on the grass have been arranged rather than fallen. You're walking in the centre of the road with your suitcase, occasionally scuttling into the grass to move out of the way of tractors or lorries. People stop to offer you lifts, but you won't accept any because they're all part of the conspiracy. Please get in the car. One of them pleads, and you start to run away. Suddenly, a police car starts following you, and you stop to talk to them. His ID is so old and worn that you don't believe that it's real. You're not real. You tell them and keep walking. They kidnap you before you reach the nearest town. You're not real, you tell them, and then scream for someone to call the real police. After what seems like forever, the car pulls up outside a hospital. Everything in your room has significance, right down to the sanitary pad bags in the bathroom. You feel like this must be an escape the room or a video game and if you can just work out the puzzle, you'll be free. Is that a camera up there on the ceiling? Every hour or so, someone shines a torch through your door. This must be some sort of punishment. You realise that they're going to maim you in some way. Perhaps they will amputate your legs. Perhaps things will look brighter in the morning. You fall asleep.